So this is Nico Skivaski uh, from Redox. Uh, Redox was a winner of our traction, who's on the podium here, a winner of our traction uh, contest, a uh, startup contest, just uh, the main conference. Um, and he's addressing the sort of a solution for this actual problem uh, in terms of, you know, getting those different types of applications to be able to use the data that's generated within these hospital systems. So what Redox does, it helps developers get EHR data. This is a tool for techies and developers, so we're going to start very technically through uh, a modern API. You just need to plug into Redox and you're, and you're kind of done. Uh, he and his team are from a place called Madison, Wisconsin. Many of you know there's a large company which he used to work for called Epic in Madison, Wisconsin. And uh, now he's going to show you a sense of how Redox does what it does. You ready to go, Nico? Yeah, thanks a lot. So a lot of the panel discussion today was about the barriers in place for modern technology to be adopted at health systems. A lot of those barriers are technical in nature, and as we just discussed, a lot of them are regulatory in nature about the standards and the inconsistent implementations of these standards at health systems across the country. This is exactly the problem that we started Redox to solve. We, are, we serve the software vendors who are out there making the most innovative applications, and we help them integrate at the health systems that they sell into. And hopefully we reduce and eliminate that barrier, the technology barrier, when they're doing these implementations. So many of our customers list themselves on our gallery here. Uh, you can see a whole bunch of probably names that you've heard of before. Uh, let's hop into one as an example. Uh, Gauss Surgical is a really cool app that uh, uses an iPad in the surgical setting and takes pictures of anything that gets bloody. So blood on the floor, blood on the gown, things like that. Um, with their application, their FDA approved to measure blood loss. So what we're doing for this application is we're giving them blood lab values from the EMR. They're taking pictures with their iPad and then we're sending back in the blood loss values into the EMR through our API. So really, really cool technology. They're amazing at making that application, but they have no idea how to interface with the EMRs at the various health systems that they work with. So I'm gonna show you a quick example um, of how they actually set it up. They fill out a couple quick fields on our website. Um, they set up an endpoint. Any software developer knows how to do this. They verify it, and once it's verified, they're actually able to use our development tools to share data, uh, sample data from our environment as if it was coming from an EHR. Before Redox, there was really not a way to um, have a staging environment to integrate with a EHR in it, various EHR environments. Within our development tools, they can kind of pick up data models that they want to share. So we're going to share some results uh, from the EHR. Um, and you know, we can choose a patient named Barbara, doctor named Pat. And this is a sample data set. The interesting thing here is that this data set will remain consistent regardless of if it's Epic, Cerner, Allscripts, Athena, or if it's an implementation at Kaiser or Cleveland Clinic. Uh, those implementations are typically highly customized, and our system allows them to, to commit to a standard once, and then we implement it at each of those various health systems and EHRs. They're able to send this off to their application and start actually building an integrated workflow from the ground up. Many more of these applications are listed here in our gallery, along with the uh, different types of uh, software and different data models that um, applications can use to, to do these types of integrations. Uh, I'm proud to say that in October, Gauss went live at Hackensack uh, Medical Center in New Jersey, and every C-section since we went live has used their technology to measure the blood loss of these complex births. My wife and I just found out that we're expecting our first child in June, and it's very inspiring to me to know that there's technology out there that we can empower to save lives in these operating rooms. Thank you. <laughs>